Michelle, could you talk to us a little about the transition that you've made going from reality television to now being a champion in Invicta? Um, well, um, are you talking about the reality like the Fight Girls? Or, well, it could be Bully Beatdown too, oh. but yeah, I meant Fight Girls. Uh, well, Fight Girls, Bully Beatdown, it's just lots of fun, you know? Um, but you really can't compare that to an actual fight in the ring going against somebody, you know, that's, you know, in their own training camp, in their own element and um, training to take your head off just as much as you're training to take their head off. Um, um, when I was younger, I wanted to be like a Power Ranger, and I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like now I'm like a real life Power Ranger. Like I think this is funner than being a Power Ranger. You know, I get to be a fighter and I get to put my heart out there and, and show the world. So it's awesome. Cool. And uh, we've already heard the idea broached of you having a rematch. Uh, is that something you want to take, or do you want some other contenders first? Um, you know what, like Shannon said, it's really up to her. Um, the fight was definitely back and forth, and I'm kind of still speechless um, as, as to how it all you know, went down. I thought um, we had an amazing fight, and um, I, still is, I still can't reflect on it yet. So I, I'd love to like, go back and, and watch the fight tape and see the back and forth because uh, everything is still kind of like in a blur to me right now. So. Okay. Thank you. Jeremy Johnson, that MMA show. This is for Michelle. Um, you were very emotional after your win. Um, talk us through what the emotion was about. Um, because I felt like, um, Oh, then I, you were a Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just, I felt like I was a huge underdog, you know, and I really had to, um, you know, that song, don't believe the hype. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, like, could not, I couldn't, do, I, I was just really emotional because I believed in myself and, um, I, I was able to come through, so, yeah, that's why it's <laughs> Questions? Good evening, everybody. Uh, Rex from KU. <coughs> Shannon, you uh, said that uh, Miriam Nakamoto scored KO of the night. Uh, it's probably going to be controversial since there's no small amount of opinion that the knockout blow was actually illegal. Uh, can you speak to that? Well, the first one then, when she went down, of course, I'll rewatch it, but at this point in time, I mean, the first one when she hit her and she crumpled down, that. That was a, you know, that was a little bit. So. For sure. Second one, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it again, but, but it still doesn't erase the fact that when she needed the first time, her legs buckled and she went down. Absolutely. So. And another one, if I, if I may, uh, Zoilo, what's next? Uh, is uh, 125 your home? Are you gonna reevaluate your weight class? 125 is my home. Um, I'm not taking anything away from Maya. She won that fight. She was a better woman tonight. Um, the physical part of this sport has never been a problem for me. The, the mental aspect of it, just recently, these last couple of fights, has been a battle. So I'm going to have to go back home, um, talk to my coaches, and try to figure something out because that fighter that you saw tonight, it wasn't me at all. And um, it's just, it, it was weird. But I, I'm going to stay at 25. That's where I want to be, and I'm going to continue to fight at that weight. Thanks. This question's for Shannon. Um, after the commanding performance of Rose Nama Yunus, what do you see next for? Oh, she's a sassy one. <laughs> <laughs> she for sure is. You know, I mean, uh, she's certainly going to put her back on, of course. You know, she find a new opponent and up the ante. You know, that's the way we look at it. It's each time they win, you know, you got to up it a little bit anyway. So, yeah, we're delighted to have her on the card. This question is for Jennifer. Jennifer, this is Ronico uh, from Women's MMA Roundup. You faced a very tough opponent in, uh, in fighting Zoila Frosto, and you used the clinch very effectively. Was that something that you planned to do going in? Eu sabia que a Zoila é uma atleta muito dura, 
Então eu treinei de tudo bastante para tentar vencer. Um, she says uh, she really didn't have a you know strategy for the fight. She used that to her advantage. She knew that Soila was a really tough opponent, and uh, she just went with it. She trained hard for it, and you know she was able to deliver. Thank you. Jeremy White with UMOR Live. Um, notice this time around the venue was different. Um, when I talked to you in the past, I might ask you about your dream location for an event. Um, can we expect to see uh, you know, other, uh, other venues, um, maybe possibly other states, you know, even other countries for Invicta in the future? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, uh, moving the show around and you know, going international is important to us. Uh, you know, the biggest deal right now is still building that foundation and building the brand up. So Kansas City is our home, but we're not, you know, we definitely travel. So. And that dream location to have an event? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation spot. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere nice and warm. Yeah. Lots of water. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. That's like where you go. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Then we'll let you all go and we'll bring it back and.